Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars, and you're watching another episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. If you like to build or repair guitars, I suggest you click that subscribe button down below, and you'll become part of a community of fellow luthiers, and together, we can take your skills to a whole new level. If you'd like to support my guitar building YouTube channel, visit eGuitarPlans.com and buy a plan. A link is in the description below. Now on with the video. In this episode, I'm going to be covering part 18 of the Highline Guitars Echo Laminated Top Guitar Build. Yeah, that's right, part 18. Now, I know in the past I've said building guitars is not that complicated. And in truth, it shouldn't take 18 episodes to get to this point. But it did in this case, and part of that had to do with uh, revisiting my uh, finishing and how I buffed out the high gloss clear coat. So anyways, in this episode, I'm going to continue on with the final assembly, or at least I'm going to start with the final assembly. As you'll see, I'm not going to get all the way through it. Uh, so let's jump in and get started. The very first thing I'm going to do uh, as far as setup is to install the string through ferrules into the back of the guitar. And I'll do that using a ferrule setting tool I made myself out of a 5 16 inch diameter uh, shaft of a drill bit, which has been machined to fit inside the ferrules. Next, I installed the bridge, and that begins by first inserting a ground wire for the strings, and then I'll set the base plate onto the body and attach it with three uh, wood screws. And the bridges that I like to use are hip shop bridges, and they're just really good quality. Always can count on them for uh, reliability and performance. After I installed the bridge, I was ready to move on to installing the pickups. However, it suddenly occurred to me that I didn't have any black humbucker rings. And instead of ordering a set, I decided, hey, I've got a CNC machine. Why not make a set? So I'll show you how I did that. The first step is to draw the rings in Adobe Illustrator. And then I'll use that two-dimensional drawing and bring that into Rhinoceros 3D so I can quickly extrude the design and what I end up with is a 3D model of a pickup ring. So what I can do next is to bring that ring into MeshCam, set it up so that I can uh, establish my tool paths, and then it's off to the CNC machine where I can carve it out. The process from start to finish takes maybe at the most an hour. And then all that's left to do after cutting them out on the CNC machine is to sand the surface smooth and apply some boiled linseed oil. So with the rings now finished, I'm ready to move on to the next step in the process, and that's going to be to wire up the electronics. I'm not going to go into a detailed uh, soldering tutorial. That's perhaps for a different episode. But what I will talk about is some concepts about wiring that you may find useful. First of all, since this is a spec build, it's one of the builds that I do in between my uh, customer commissions. I'm going to keep the wiring scenario fairly simple. My feeling about that is I don't want to make a complicated wiring scenario that is going to cost more money to, to accomplish because the problem is, is if I do a lot of fancy wiring like coil taps or phase switching, that sort of thing. Those ideas aren't always appreciated by all guitar players. So I feel it's better to come up with a scenario that's pretty broad and, and appealing to just about everybody. That way I can keep the cost of the guitar down. And if the, the new owner wishes to mod the electronics, they can do so to their heart's content and save some money at the same time. So I'm just going to go with a very simple scenario. Now what I do when I wire, and this is something I've, I've just started doing recently, is I'll use some uh, 22 gauge 
uh, stranded copper wire for all my ground connections. And I'll do that with black wiring. But then for all my signal connections, I'm using 22 gauge. Uh, this is actually, uh, it's a single conductor shielded wire. So I have in the center of the wire, I have my single conductor, which I can solder to my electronics the way I would just, you know, pretty much any type of signal wire. But then I have this separate stranded shield, which I can solder to my ground so that all my wiring from the pickups all the way through the electronics, as far as the signal is concerned, is shielded. And by doing that, I don't really have to put copper foiling inside the control cavities to shield them against um, electronic interference. I can just use the shielded wiring because really when you're shielding a cavity, what you're mainly doing is you're shielding the wire from electrical interference. Um, all the, con the controls are soldered to ground so they're shielded but the wiring typically isn't but by using this this single conductor shielded wiring i can shield the wiring and and it it makes the guitar much quieter now i like to use a block of wood with some holes drilled in it to support the electronics as i'm soldering them together it just makes it easier and i can solder my pots and switches together as well as my capacitor and I can do this outside of the guitar, which helps to protect the guitar's finish. I can't, however, solder the uh, jack to the controls yet. I can solder the wires to it, but if I were to solder it to the controls and then try to install it, I'd have a problem getting the jack in. So I'll solder the wires on and then solder all these components together, and then I can start to install it into the guitar itself. Before I can install the electronics into the guitar, I need to install the pickups. Unfortunately, however, I can't do that in this episode because as it turns out, I'm using the pickups in another video, one of my Luthier Quick Tips videos where I'm explaining how I design and shape the tone of the pickups that I make for my guitars. So until I can finish that video, I can't install the pickups and therefore I can't finish installing the electronics. So I'm going to finish this episode right now. And in the uh, next episode, uh, the pickups should be finished and I should be ready to install those and then wire up the electronics. So until then, if you have any comments or questions, post them down below. If you like guitar building videos and don't subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Click the uh, bell for notifications every time I post a new video, which is a couple of times a week. And as always, take care, stay safe, keep testing a negative, and I will see you soon.